Good morning, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope that uh, God will give you a wonderful Monday. Hey, we are looking at uh, Matthew 11 uh, this morning, uh, verses 28 through 30. And uh, I just got to tell you, my parents were not good at resting. They were not good at resting. Uh, it, truthfully, my parents were both workaholics who never ran out of things on the to-do list. Uh, I realize now that kind of demotivated me from uh, trying to accomplish a lot of projects that our family had because we always had another project. In fact, uh, my, my parents were good at resting because they, they were always focused on the next project and getting things done so they could get more stuff done and more stuff done. Uh, and for me, that has equated to both being a blessing in life because I've got a good work ethic, but it's also a curse because there's always the voice of the accuser telling you you should be doing something of value instead of just goofing off or playing. And, and I like to play. I do it pretty well. So I had to learn to rest. I had to learn to take a Sabbath. And uh, today's verse is excellent for all of us living life in the fast lane who are overdosing on anxiety or just overwhelmed with busy. Listen to Jesus. In Matthew 11, he says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Did you catch that? God wants us to rest. To, to rest. By the way, that's why Sabbath is part of creation. You know, six days you'll work and then on the seventh, rest. That's why Jesus is the Prince of Peace. That's why heaven it is called our Sabbath rest. We enter into heaven, it's entering into our rest. Um, see, God desires for our bodies to rest because he knows that, uh, as, as I heard Pastor Joe say not too long ago, uh, to be your best, you need rest. And so he desires our, our bodies to rest, but he also wants our souls to find rest. You know, he wants you and me to live at peace within. And, and here's what I know. The closer I get to Jesus, the, the, the more I nurture that relationship with my Lord and my Savior, my stress, my fear, my anxiety diminishes. And I believe it'll be the same for you. So Today, my prayer for you is that you would find rest, not just for your body, but for your soul, and you'd find it in Jesus. God bless Calvary. Have a great day.